In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Jump Software to make a dot plot. The uh, link to the Jump file that I'm going to use for this video should be in the description box on the YouTube page for this video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, physical data here. This, this data set, uh, this is a data set of 116 vehicles. 116 cars, different cars, uh, list what country they're from, what type of vehicle it is, what their weight of each vehicle is, the turning circle, displacement, horsepower, and gas size. I'm going to make a dot plot out of the car weights. So to get that done, I'm going to come over here and click on the graph uh, drop down menu and then left, left click on the graph builder. So open up the graph builder window over here on the left you've got all of your variables that are in the data table uh, they're appearing right here under this label that says variables and now I'm going to grab the weight so left click on weight and left click and hold and drag the weight over to where the X column ought to be and you can see I've just about got my dot plot there um, to fix the uh, the dots there come over here to the jitter where it says jitter right here and change this from auto to positive grid that'll drop all of our dots down to uh, the x-axis there. We can resize this uh, just by resizing the window. Um, something that you might have not thought about doing is uh, you could actually color code all of these weights according to country or um, vehicle type um, so just simply by grabbing uh, one of these variables. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to left click and hold down on the type variable. The, vehicle type. I'm going to left click and hold down on it and drag that over and place it in where it says color. And now my dot plot shows not only a dot for every car weight, uh, but it also shows the type of vehicle um, that is corresponding to each dot or each car. Uh, so that's kind of neat. Um, you can add a categorical variable to your dot plot um, if you know if you think that that's going to help your your graph uh, and if that's going to help you communicate then that's an, another nice feature of jump software um, so uh, other than that I'm not sure what you might be interested in doing you can always um, put an annotation on the graph uh, one way to do that come up here to tools and then left click on annotate um, just left click in here maybe you want to tell your reader the graph is by Tim um, you can change the font and the background color and your annotations. Um, your y-axis or your x-axis label of weight. Maybe you want to come over here and uh, right-click on that and uh, left-click on font to uh, maybe you want to bold that and change the size of the font there. So another thing you might be interested in doing is uh, exporting or saving this a uh, graph as an image file type, so you can import it or paste it into your Microsoft Word or your uh, pages, some other file type report. Uh, one way to get that done is to click on File and Save As. We want to change the file type, save this, save this as a PNG or a JPEG, uh, and that's um, both those. Both those are file image file types. Um, go ahead and save that, and that's what the graph looks like. We'll have to crop out. Um, honestly, you're going to have to crop out where it says Graph Builder and all these graphs um, before I, I paste this in. Uh, but that that's not too hard to do. Alrighty, so there you have it. Um, that's how you graph the dot plot with Jump Software.